Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Ty. Welcome back to the Ty channel. I just got out of the shower. My hair is still very wet. I have not had a chance to dry it because I got out of the shower and I saw this and I'm like, I gotta make a video right now. We are having our first look at W2K18 in the form of a screenshot of one of the character models, Seth Rollins. Upon first view, it's like, wow, that is really, that is really some high definition. Uh, this, the pecs are there, the hair is there, everything's there, the lighting is perfect, everything about the picture is perfect. Second glance I look at it and I'm like, it's really good, but I feel like they kind of angled it, so that way it looks perfect, like, for the book. We had that free camera angle thing in 2K18, and I feel like they kind of angled it, you know, pointed it up, and has about just about everything you can see about Seth Rollins, so that way it looks perfect. But until we see the trailer, I'm not going to just go ahead and be like, oh my god, this, this is like the best game ever. Just solely because the graphics look amazing. I'm just I'm just saying this, these look amazing. I like it, but I don't want to be misled into thinking that oh my god these graphics are a game changer. And then you look at the trailer and it's like oh, all right. I feel like that kind of is what happened with 2K um 16. Like the graphics look there, but then you got to the gameplay and it's like never yeah, mind. Uh. In comparison, let's look at 2K15's uh, Seth Rollins. It was pretty good. I still think 2K15, as of right now, until 2K18 drops, I still think 2K15 has the best next-gen graphics you will ever see. And if you want more proof of that, Randy Orton, John Cena, The Undertaker. Hands down. 2K16, I think the worst of the four in terms of graphics. Also, the worst of the four in terms of the game. I mean, I can't really say the worst of the four. The worst of the three in terms of the game. But, you know. And then we have 2K17, which is a bit of a step up for the graphics. Especially, you know, you see if it's Seth Rollins, you see if it's Brock Lesnar. And then you get 2K18, and it's like, wow. He looks so chiseled, and everything in between is so perfect. But, exactly, how much of this is just editing of the picture... And how much of this is going to be in the actual gameplay. So we're going to see what Seth Rollins actually looks like when the, when the trailer drops. But until then, the picture looks great. I'm very excited for it. I don't want to see like I'm a big downer. Like I don't have any hopes for this game. But there's been a few times where you know we get a screenshot. And they do all they can to make the game look perfect. And then the game drops and it's like... Not what I saw on the screenshot. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I love you guys. Make sure you guys stay tuned to this channel. Once again, I'm going to be at work basically all this week until Sunday, so I won't be able to live stream. That being said, I'm going to have some more videos coming out. Um, until dawn, I recorded about six episodes of the game. It didn't really do that well in terms of views, but I'm just going to upload it anyway because I, I recorded it already, so don't want to do the least. That, that being said, thank you all for watching this video. Comment down below. What do you guys think of the graphics? Do you guys think it's a step up, step down? kind of level head. I heard, I see some comments where they said it's kind of almost looks the same as 2K17, just with better lighting. But you guys tell me in the comments down below. I'll be sure to read, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.